Hi guys, in this lecture, I'm going to show you how to connect Visual Studio Code with Teradata. So first of all, I need to check the status of Teradata instance. For that, I need to go to the VM and let me just right click and let me just open the terminal and I will run the command pd state minus a okay it is up and running okay run slash started means it is up and running now this is the command that i executed this pd state state dash a okay space dash a okay uh, as per the status it is up and running now i'm going to type a command if config okay if config this is going to give me the ip address okay this one so this is the ip address that i am required to use as a host let me just post it so you have to uh, 100 what's the ip address the ip address is 192.168 dot uh, uh, dot hundred dot one nine okay this is the ip address that i'll be using in order to connect to teradata now for in order to get this ip you you, you need to type the command if config okay this one now uh, now the next step is to open the visual studio code and i'm going to install few extensions so the first extension that i will install is the sql tool extension SQL tools let me just install this uh, SQL tools okay uh, this extension okay install SQL tools it has been installed so the next extension is going to be uh, Teradata type Teradata so this is a driver extension that I'm going to install this one uh, SQL tools Teradata driver install this extension okay it is installing at the moment you have to wait for a while uh, it is installing at the moment it is taking some time to install okay installation process has been completed now I'm going to go to uh, here SQL tools and I will create a new connection so I have already created a connection let me just delete this connection and let me just create a new connection from scratch so i'll i'll create a new connection and the connection and the driver that i'm going to select is the teradata driver connection name is going to be uh, test connection okay server name is going to be this ip address this one which i got from from this command if config okay and for this the username is dbc dbc is my username this is the username default username okay and now uh, use password so let me just save password let me just select the password save uh, and the password is dbc so dbc is my username and dbc is my password okay uh, these are default settings so you you're going to provide these two as your username and password now i'm going to save this connection save it and i'm going to connect now yes connection is establishing you have to wait okay the connection has been established now i'm going to run few queries like for instance let me just run a query select star from dbc dot tables v and run on active connection run this this is going to give me the list of tables okay uh, filter table name okay this is going to give me the list of tables so this is how you run your sql queries in teradata and this is how you establish connection uh, with with teradata okay with the help of visual studio code i hope you have gone through the process uh, of connecting uh, vs code with teradata thank you so much and have a great learning